FTV, DT, it is freezing here. But you know what? What, what did you make of it? I mean, there was a good turnout from Arsenal fans, I've got yeah. to say, under the circumstances. <sighs> I can't even think straight. I'm so <laughs> cold. I told you this was worse than Osterson, didn't I? Oh, I'm in bits, man. <laughs> Seriously, I just want to go home. But um, you know what? The youngsters, they've done, um, they done the team proud. And Emery's decision to play them, it was justified, yeah. you know. So they really um, stepped up today. I mean, that was impressive out there today, wasn't yeah, it? You know, Smith Rowe looks like the older head out of the youngsters, um, who's had that bit more experience, and he went and done what he had to do. I thought Eddie and Ketia played really well and was taking players on, and mm. you know, getting the goal. And Willock was in there, and you know, they all done what they had to do, and and that's the main thing. And like I said, you know, I look at some of the Vorskla tackles today; they were getting stuck in. That was a big mm. game for them, so. It was possibly the right thing that our main guys were at home refreshing. Yeah. And, and it's worked out perfectly because yeah. the unbeaten run's still going, so yeah. that's good for morale of the yeah. team. And he's been able to leave all of the big guns at home for the big yeah. game on Sunday against Tottenham. Yeah, and he was able to take the likes of Rob Holding off straight after half-time because the job mm. was done, give some youngsters a run-out, give them a bit of experience, and it's, it's fallen perfectly. You know, mm. if we didn't win today, then it's one of them where everyone would start questioning Emery and going, well, should he have took and so? Yeah. But as fans, we were saying the result was not really, mm. you know, the, the main objective today because we've got two huge league games coming up, Spurs mm. and Man United. That's the priority. Mm. We've won the group, we're through. Maybe now we might get some um, more favourable ties in favourable weather. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking what forward have to. you made of the whole goings on around this whole trip with the venue being moved and stuff like that? Was that the right decision for you? Do you know what? From people that I spoke to that were in uh, Potava and they were saying that there's no issues there. They don't know. But at the end of the day, if UEFA and the officials decided that, you know, fan safety was the priority, then who are we to argue? We can't sit there and say, you know, but from my own experience, again, I think there's a lot of scaremongering from the media and whatnot. Um, and it was the same with the likes of Russia and other places like that. Even Azerbaijan, when I went out there, people are saying, oh, look how close you are to X, Y, Z. And listen, I've come over here. The people have been really friendly, really nice. It's a beautiful country. And um, yeah, it's all good. So I've enjoyed myself. Apart Tottenham with, Sunday. Yeah. Tottenham Sunday. Yeah, Tottenham Sunday, man. Bring them the fuck on. I can't wait, man. 18 games, man. Why? We ain't got nothing to be scared of. We ain't got nothing to be scared of. Why should we? Mm. We went into the game against Spurs at uh, Emirates last season, just after they'd beaten Real Madrid, and they were apparently the Harlem Globetrotters and everything else, and we were all over the place, but we still done them. So every single one of us that are going to be in the Emirates on Sunday, we need to raise it up another level. Um, 15, 20 minutes before kickoff, we need to get that place rocking on Sunday. And we can do them. We can do them. And it's time to show them lot that, you know, you might have been better than us over the last couple of years in terms of league position you never be a bigger club than us so it's time to put them back in their fucking shadows simple about to do a photo shoot for our new merch with our new logo AFTV you've seen it we're at Unique Capture Studios in Milton Keynes 